This is quite an interesting paper which looks at obstetric and perinatal outcomes of singleton pregnancies following single or double transfer. So this is a population-based study which looked at 1.15 million singleton pregnancies out of which 30,713 were singleton pregnancies after single embryo transfer and 5,123 were after a double embryo transfer. The risk of neonatal death was higher when there was a singleton pregnancy after double embryo transfer, as was the risk of low birth weight. With a blastocyst transfer, a singleton pregnancy resulting from a dual embryo transfer had a higher preterm delivery rate and also low birth weight. And that is quite interesting. Is why is it that singleton pregnancies conceived after a single embryo transfer may have a better outcome than singleton pregnancies conceived from a double embryo outcome, even though there is a single pregnancy going? And people think that maybe because of a vanishing twin and that, that is a twin starts growing and then vanishes and, and has an impact. Also, it could be culture systems as well as culture media, which may be having an impact, on, especially on two embryos and the endometrium. And what we know is that culture media does, does have some impact, especially with increase in birth, birth weight of babies born after frozen embryo transfer. This again is a large study which looks primarily at single and double embryo transfer. And the interesting finding here is that it may make more sense putting back single embryos. If the risk of putting that pregnancy to a risk with double embryo is remains and there may we may find a cause, then probably a single embryo transfer is the safest. Thank you.